We are undoubtedly living in the age of technology, and evidence of this is visible all around us. No matter where you look, it seems that technology is leading to advances in science, discoveries about humanity, and solutions to seemingly insurmountable problems. From space discoveries to artificial intelligence and humanoid robots, it is an exciting time to be alive. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding and use of technology. AI discovers over 300 unknown exoplanets in Kepler telescope data. Every day it seems that we rely on artificial intelligence more and more to make discoveries about the aspects of the world around us that are invisible or incomprehensible to the human eye and brain. Recently, an artificial intelligence algorithm astonished scientists with its discovery of more than 300 exoplanets as a result of its analysis of data from the retired Kepler telescope. The Kepler Space Telescope was NASA's first spacecraft dedicated to the search for exoplanet life and orbited the cosmos in order to observe and record data on the thousands of bodies that inhabit space outside of our solar system. Although it became defunct in late 2018, the Kepler telescope gathered an incredible amount of data, and manually sorting through it in search of signs of undiscovered exoplanets is a daunting process that results in many false positives. Exoplanets can be discovered by observing small, temporary decreases in the brightness of stars, which could be caused by an exoplanet orbiting in front of the star, blocking its light. However, not all of these decreases in brightness are due to exoplanets, and it is often incredibly difficult to sort out the false positives from the actual exoplanets. When observing the data and locating the site of a potential exoplanet, Scientists would first have to calculate the light curve in order to discover the size of the hypothesized planet in relation to the star and compare this to how long it takes the body to cross the sun. Oftentimes this eliminates many candidates, but this highly involved verification process does not always take out all of the false positives that may slip through the cracks when manually applied by the researchers. Because the process is so tedious and complex, exoplanets identified by scientists analyzing the original data are highly likely to turn out to be false positives. However, when research is applied to the new artificial intelligence algorithm ExoMiner to the data, it was able to apply the same process to the entire dataset in order to say for certain whether a dimmed star was truly an exoplanet. The artificial intelligence was able to quickly and accurately scour the dense amount of data in a way that is impossible to accomplish by hand due to the intelligence system's neural network characteristics that allow it to learn from its actions in order to improve its abilities. In fact, in addition to the planets already discovered by countless hours of researchers poring over the data, ExoMiner identified over 300 additional, previously unknown planets to the catalogue in just one batch. ExoMiner project lead Hamed Velizadegan made a statement speaking to the high confidence that researchers can place in ExoMiner, saying that when ExoMiner says something is a planet, you can be sure it's a planet. ExoMiner is highly accurate and in some ways more reliable than both existing machine classifiers and the human experts it's meant to emulate because of the biases that come with human labeling. Because of the incredible success seen with ExoMiner's interpretation of the Kepler telescope data, researchers are looking at the possibility of applying the principles to data collected from other telescopes and satellites, as well as potentially adding it to the search for extraterrestrial life. It seems that this exciting new technology has the potential to rapidly increase our ability to map and understand the regions of space outside the reach of our satellites. tech firm will pay you £150,000 to use your face on its robots. One thing that robots are not often described as is a friendly face, but a New York-based tech company is looking to change that by adding your friendly face to its robots. 
Currently, humanoid robots are often given computer-generated faces that notably lack the genuine emotions and expressions seen in real-life human faces. However, the world-renowned company called Promobot is launching an upcoming project that is offering a financial incentive for you to put your face onto one of their new robots, which will be launched throughout North America and the Middle East in public spaces such as hotels, shopping centers, and airports. If you would like to encounter your electronic clone in one of these spaces, you could potentially earn a large amount of financial compensation, as Promobot is offering £150,000 for the privilege of using your face on one of their robots. It appears as though race and gender are of no importance to the future robots. As to qualify, the company has stated that all you need is to be at least 25 years old with a kind and friendly appearance. However, the process of giving your digital likeness to a robot is slightly more involved than one might think. After signing a license agreement that allows the company unlimited use of their appearance, Promobot will take scans of the individual's face and body in order to generate a 3D model to apply to the robot's external features. You will also have to dedicate at least 100 hours of material, as the robot, with your likeness, will also have your voice when it communicates with customers in its eventual home. Promobot is no stranger to realistic robots, as their creations are already known for their eerie similarities to real-life humans and have been implemented in various roles across 43 countries. It hopes that having access to a realistic 3D model for its robots will help to further expand the reach of robot workers acting as administrators, promoters, guides, and friendly concierges across the world. This all sounds highly futuristic, but the company aims to have its first entirely humanoid robots out in the public by 2023 at the latest, so an era of friendly, helpful robots who are exact replicas of normal individuals elsewhere in the world will likely be upon us sooner than one would think. Although Promobot would have access to the likeness and voice of the brave volunteer essentially forever, it might be worth it to be able to walk through a shopping mall or airport and encounter a friendly robot clone of yourself. Earth could have its own Saturn-like ring band due to space junk. It seems that every day we discover more and more side effects of the growing industrialization and pollution on Earth, and current evidence suggests that the debris that is accumulated on Earth is also impacting outer space as well. NASA recently released some ominous statistics claiming that there are over 100 million pieces of debris larger than a millimeter currently orbiting the Earth, with thousands of these pieces the size of a baseball or larger. Scientists estimate that, based on the gravitational pull of Earth exerted on these pieces of space debris, eventually our planet could have a massive set of rings not unlike the famous rings of Saturn only our rings will be composed of our own detritus. These growing rings cause more than a few problems for those seeking to explore the solar system, as well as those of us stuck here on land. For starters, the trash is flying around the planet at incredibly high speeds, and there is so much of it that it is becoming increasingly difficult for satellites and spacecraft to navigate around. Because of the high speeds of the debris, an atmospheric collision with a spacecraft could be devastating, while a fast-moving piece of space detritus that manages to make it through the atmosphere could wreak havoc on the planet and those of us down below. Often, items headed towards Earth's surface burn up as they pass through the atmosphere, but this is not always the case, and the more trash that accumulates around our planet, the greater the chances that pieces could survive the fall to Earth and greatly injure those of us below. But how are we to go about cleaning up the mess above our heads before it conglomerates into an enormous ring that causes even more issues? This is a delicate issue, as the debris is spinning and orbiting at such fast speeds that many normal methods such as grabbing the larger pieces with a robotic arm are not feasible, as the debris would just destroy the equipment. One solution proposed by Jake Abbott, a mechanical engineering professor at the University of Utah, was published in the science journal Nature and suggests using magnets to attract the debris instead of attempting to grab it. He proposes that this theory will work even on debris that does not have a metal component, 
because of the electric eddy currents generated by spinning, non-magnetic objects and activated with spinning magnets. Eddy currents are swirling, magnetically induced currents that circulate as loops of electrical current within a conductor. Although it is not currently clear whether Abbott's proposition will be effective as a way to begin the space clear-up, or where all of the collected detritus will end up, it is ultimately the first step in solving a looming problem that is only set to get worse if not addressed. But what do you make of these three science advances? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.